Hello, my name's Richie, otherwise known as Jaden in World, and I'm developer evangelist for SignSpace. So today I'm going to be running you through a tutorial of how to install our editor pack with Unity so that you can start creating in SignSpace. So to start off with, we need to head on over to the Unity download archive. You can get to the Unity Archive by either going to Google and typing in Unity Archive or you can go directly to the page by going unity3d.com forward slash get Unity forward slash download forward slash archive. So to install our editor pack you will need to get either Unity 2018 or 2017. I would suggest going for the long-term service editions which is either 2018 for or 2017 for. Now that we've decided which version of Unity we're going to use in SignSpace, it's just a matter of downloading either the Windows version here, you've got the Mac version here, or if you have Unity Hub, you can download the Unity Hub version by clicking this button here. So go ahead and download Unity. Once that's finished downloading, Go ahead and install. Just the plain base install of Unity is fine. You don't need to enable any special features at all. Once that's been completed, let's move on to the next step. Now that we've installed Unity, we'll double click on our Unity icon and you'll be presented with a window like this. Yours won't be filled with projects like mine. Obviously my Unity is not new but we'll go ahead and we'll create a new project by clicking the new project button here. Make sure it's set to 3D and then I'm going to name this editor pack tutorial and click create and let Unity install. So now that we've installed our Unity and started a new project, we can install our editor pack. It's just a case of going to the Asset Store tab at the top here. Type in SignSpace and click on this icon here. You'll be presented with a download button here to start off with. So go ahead and click that and download. Once that's been completed, click on the import button and select import on this pop-up window and that will start installing our editor pack. The first window you'll be presented with is this window here and it will give you a list of our editor packs that are available. You don't need to check or uncheck any of these you can just go ahead and click the import button as our editor pack will determine what version of unity you're using and uh, which version of our editor pack to install whilst you are installing our editor pack you may come across the restart button a couple of times it's fine for you to just go ahead and click restart and let our editor pack install so the next button you'll see is our install editor pack button and this will also show you the version of the editor pack that's being installed. So you can just go ahead and click install editor pack and let the install continue. Okay, so the next window that you'll see is the assets that go with our editor pack. Again, you can just go ahead and click the import button and let our editor pack continue installing. This might take a couple of minutes. Again, you might see the restart button appear a couple of times. You can just go ahead and click the restart button. Now that our editor pack's finished installing, you'll notice a couple of new folders in our assets, SignSpace and Space Pack, and you'll notice a new menu at the top called SignSpace. So we've got a couple more steps to do before we can start creating. So go to the SignSpace menu and go to Install Editor Pack Settings. Click that, and that will install the settings required by Unity. Next, go to the SignSpace menu again and go to sign in. 
and in the inspector you'll see username, email and password. Fill this in and this is the same username and password that you use in SignSpace. Click login and you'll see your API key appear as well as a few other details. For Windows users that completes the install. Mac users there's an additional step you'll need to go to the sign space menu once more go to tools install and install the native Mac uploader. So this completes our tutorial for today. If you need any help at all feel free to message me on discord my name is Jaden Catnip or you can email me richard.m at sinewavecompany.com. Hope you've enjoyed the tutorial thanks very much and bye.